this is Humvee TV. So we're not going to do a Hummer video or a Jeep video right now. Um, actually, this is our company, uh, Achieve Inc. We do electrical and security. So today is going to be an informational video on the Eagle Eye cameras, how to get them on your, your, on your phone, and then uh, the Brevo Mobile Pass. Uh, Brevo Mobile Pass is so you can open a door or a gate, whatever it's on, uh, from your phone. And then also the Pike Pass that we call it. Uh, it's NADAP or NEDAP, however you say it. Um, it will open it up also. So this is going to be used uh, for gates so that you drive up and they open up. We have this on a lot of entrances. So I'm going to show you where to place it. So I'm going to show you where to place the stickers. So let's come over here. So this is my truck. And I don't know if you can see this sticker, but here's the sticker. You're going to want to put it on the driver's side um, so that the pike pass will pick it up. You can put them on the other side too, but uh, on most of the entrances, you just need it on the driver's side. So, what I do is where the, the bottom part starts of your windshield where it's clear, I typically take it about three to four inches. This one is four inches to the top of the sticker and it's about two and a half inches from the side is where you want this. Now you want to place the sticker level and right on the windshield. Once you peel the sticker and you stick it on the windshield, it's done. So you have to make sure that you do it right the first time because if you try to peel it off, it won't work. If you peel it off and move it, it's not going to work all the time. It may work once or twice or it'll work sporadically. So, you want to make sure that when you put the sticker on there, it is right in the right place, typically around three to four inches from the bottom and about two to three inches uh, from the side, and it'll read just fine. So, that's your Pike Pass sticker. Now, let's get it on your phone. Okay, so here's how you load the Brevo Mobile Pass. Let me show you. Okay, so open up your iPhone or Android and go to your App Store or Google Play Store, open it up, and then type in Brevo Mobile Pass. It'll say Brevo Mobile Pass. Click on it, and this is the one that you're going to want, Brevo Mobile Pass. And it's going to say Get. Now mine says Update, so let's go ahead and update it because you want to make sure it's up to date. Okay, so now this is Brevo Mobile Pass. Now you're going to go to your email, click email, and you're going to pull up the email that was sent to you, and it's going to say Brevo Mobile Pass. You're going to click it, and it's going to say Brevo Mobile Pass is now available. It's going to be Charter Oaks. Now, you already have the Brevo Pass because you downloaded it. You're going to want to add that to my pass. This is if you don't have it, you can do it that way, but it's a lot easier if you already have it downloaded and then you click this. So, Brevo Mobile Pass, click Get, Open, and it's going to say Claim Pass. Go ahead and claim it. Now that you claimed it, it will pull it up and it says Lower Drive Entrance or it will say Upper Drive Entrance. Now it has two of the lower and two of the upper, but that's just because it got entered in twice, I think. Uh, but it, either one will work. So the lower and the upper. So you'll click on one, and then what you'll want to do is you want to hold your finger down on this, and this whole circle will light up green, and then you let off, and it will open up the gate. So that's how you use the Brevo Mobile Pass. So I will go ahead hold this down and it does and there it turns green so if you want to you can open up the uh, the upper if you want to open up the upper click on the upper and there's the upper you can hold it down and it will open up that one and if you want to go back to the other you can click click the back click that right there and it will take you back to where you have the choice of the upper or the lower. That is how you do the Brevo Mobile Pass.